Hey guys, this is Judy from Patterns for Pirates. I'm going to show you a few different options and ways you can wear the Sailor Gator pattern. First, I'm going to show you just a plain short option. This is my size, so I'm going to try it on for you a few different ways you can wear it. Gators are very popular for any time you need to keep some things from your face and breathing in. Some super popular ones are riding four-wheelers, dirt bikes, motorcycles, doing woodworking, beach, fishing, things like that. Um, anytime you want to cover your face and not breathe in particles or get them on your face. So here's the short one. The short one will go from your nose to about your neckline. You can wear it straight across. You can wear it kind of dipped. Depends on how tight it is on you. We do have a measurement in the tutorial, um, but depending on your stretch of your fabric and just your own personal preference on how tight you want them, if you really don't want that thing to ever move and you're moving around like wild and crazy with whatever activity you're doing, you might want to size down. If you're more sensitive to having things close around your mouth and face, you might like it a little bit looser. So it all just depends. Luckily, these really, these plain short ones they take hardly any fabric, and they're very, very quick to sew up. So try it out. See what you like the best. Now, this one is a lightweight athletic knit, so it's not going to do much for keeping my neck warm. But if I had a warmer fabric, this could be just a little, almost like a little scarf, a little neck warmer. You can also wear it like a headband or a sweatband. You can use it like earmuffs if it's cold. You can pull it out so it covers most of your hair if you're trying to either keep your hair out of your face or keep it covered from getting it dirty from, again, sand, dirt, whatever it is. Again, this is the short one. Another thing you can do with the short ones is you can twist it one more time and it's like a scrunchie. So those are all things that you can do when you're not using it. Another option I have here has ear loops. Um, this is my little boy size, but I'm going to go ahead and slip it on. It'll just be pretty tight on me. Just to show you what it's like. Okay, so the ear loops kind of hold it in place even better. Again, this is a little bit small on me, but um, the ear loops will keep it nice and tight right there. Again, if you're doing something where you're moving around and doing a lot of activities, the ear loops will really stick on there. Um, you can also, if you do the taller version with the ear loops on the top, you can flip it around for whatever you want. You can put the ear loops on the top, and if you don't want the ear loops, you can flip it over and put the plain side on top. So there's another option if you just can't decide or if you're making it for someone and you're not sure what their preference will be, you can do essentially both if you make the taller one. You can still wear these as a headband and whatnot. Again, this one's a little snug on me since it's my little guy size. But you can do all the same things with this one as you can with the plain version as well. Now this one I'm not going to slip on because this is the smallest size. This is for my little daughter. This is the tall one. So it's just double the length. You can do all the same things with it. Now the neck covering on this one gives more neck coverage. So if it's cold, this gives a lot more neck, neck coverage. More like a funnel neck sweatshirt. Um, it's a little thick to do the scrunchie with. So that's going to be taken out. It's also even a little thick to wear around your wrist like you can the short one. Um, but one thing you can do with these ones is you can fold it into a little beanie. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I like to turn it inside out. And I just put my hands on each end on the inside and I just twist one, just one complete twist. And then I'm just going to fold them wrong sides together now and 
it makes a little beanie. Again, this is the smallest size. I don't think I can fit it on. But it's a closed beanie. The twists completely close it, so it's really great for warmer weather. If you made this out of, like, double brushed poly or um, maybe, like, a double brushed athletic nick, it would give a lot of warmth. Maybe not as much as fleece or something like that. But it is a double layer, and it is closed. The last thing that you can do with the taller version versus the shorter one is uh, this is a one layer, but if I wanted to, if the one layer just wasn't quite doing it and I wanted more coverage, you can just fold them inside each other and now you have a double layer. And you can fold it either way. They're symmetrical pieces. So you just fold it wrong sides together. And now this is exactly the same as just a plain version. So here's a plain version in her size. So it's just exactly the same, just folded. And um, again, you can, you can still do most of the same things with it. You can still wear it as a headband. You can still wear it to completely cover your head, a neck warmer again. You can do a lot of things with them. This is also an athletic knit. Another fabric that works really great is cotton spandex or cotton lycra. Those are my two personal favorites. All right, I hope that helps everybody um, getting ready to sew up a new Sailor Gator. You guys, don't forget to share with us. We love to see all your makes.